Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have this huge glare right here and I don't know where it's coming from. So we might just have to suffer. <laughs> all right guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. Thank you for joining me in another car mukbang. Um, I'm so excited about this place because we came here back when this location first opened um i don't know like two years ago i think or i don't know when it was i like lose track of time i'm sure i'm not the only one uh but nonetheless we tried it and we liked it so i wanted to come back and do a car mukbang all right guys i'm excited to share with you today a plant-based meal from monty's good burger I'm having like, um, there we go, Monty's Good Burger. I'm facing the sun in the car, so I might be overexposed or the food might be overexposed, but nonetheless, I'm so excited. How cute is this little dog on the bag? I don't know if you guys remember, it's a certain age group, probably like my age group in our 30s, but back in the day when I was young, there was a big show that was like about Good Burger or something like Welcome to Good Burger, Home of the Good Burger. Or was that a movie? I don't know. Anyway, but there was like a movie or a show about Good Burger or something. This place, because it's called Good Burger, reminds me of that show or movie. I don't remember which one it was. Was it Keenan and Kel? Was it Nickelodeon? I don't remember. Cute little sticker. I love when restaurants seal their bags. I hate... And I mean, like, I cannot explain to you how much I hate when you order food and, like, and the restaurants don't seal seal your bag, you know what I mean? Because then, obviously, somebody can mess with your food, and that is one of my biggest fears, truly. One of my biggest fears. <laughs> I'm really weird when it comes to, like, food and preparation and who's making my food, who's touching my food. I'm just really, really particular about things like that. So, I love this little detail. So, nice job, Monty's. Very nice job. All right, let's open up this bag of tricks. We got a straw. Mm. <laughs> so I got a, a root beer, which I thought would be really yummy. And they also sealed the top of the cup this place is getting more and more points in my book. I just love any kind of sanitary precautions, if you feel me. Pretty good soda. I probably could have used a little bit more ice in my cup. I'm someone who like loves a ton of ice in, in my drinks, so. I hope you guys are ready for what we got. A single cheeseburger, plant-based, of course. <gasps> Look at this beautiful, beautiful burger. Wow, gorgeous lettuce, tons of lettuce. You guys know I love a lot of lettuce. And then, ooh, and then, <gasps> look at these. It's half fries and half. I'm literally blinking out. What are these called again? Um, what are these called? Why am I so blinking out right now? I think because I have so much on my mind, I like can't think. They're not potato wedges, they're not potato balls. OMG, I am such, let me look at the receipt. Oh, tots, tater tots, duh. Anyways, guys, they have um, an option. Hmm. They have an option for 50-50. You could do half fries, half tater tots. Which I thought was pretty cool. Mm. Okay, let me get a quick thumbnail. Okay, I totally give up on the thumbnail. just parked in a tough spot I and mean, honestly 
I just wasn't even trying to deal with like finding good parking. When I arrived, it was like kind of busy, not like super busy, but like the closest spaces were full. So I just like parked first thing I could find. I wasn't even trying to deal with it. Feel me? Okay, look at this. This looks really, really good. Oh, before we start eating, please, 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 guys, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. And follow me on my socials. All of my socials are the same name as here. Okay, let's try it first bite. I'm starving. There's pickles, plant-based cheese, a nice patty. Yum. I wish you guys could actually get, like, a good... Um a good look at this. I don't know if you can or not. Mm. Mm. Yum. Nice and crispy. I love that. We got some ranch. I'm assuming this is plant based as well, which is very cool. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I'm actually surprised. Oh, there's a hair on this. That's cute. Or some kind of fuzz. Gross. Um, I'm actually surprised how good this ranch is. I think this is the best plant-based ranch I've ever had. Wow. Oh my goodness. something else on my tater tot. What the hell? Can you see that? Sticking out of the top right there? Is that another freaking hair? My god, it's disgusting. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> just gonna be one of those filming days you feel me <laughs> mm. okay let's put the ranch up here okay there's also grilled onions on this which is so good mm. Really nice bun. I 
I think their pickles might be homemade. I think, I could be wrong. Mm -mm -mm. The fries and tots are pretty good. They're both a little cold, but it's okay. Mm. I typically hate when my fries or potatoes are cold, and I mean, like, I loathe it. It's my pet peeve when I eat out. But the tots are still very crunchy, which is good. Mm. If you guys watch my videos, or follow me on Instagram and watch my stories. You know that when I'm not filming, which is the majority of the time because I don't film very often, I eat mostly vegetarian. Um, and also a lot of plant-based as well, but mostly vegetarian. So I was excited to kind of do a vegetarian mukbang with you guys. I've also had a couple requests to do a vegetarian mukbang. Although I did just do a vegetarian ASMR with the falafel. I don't know if you guys saw that one. But. It's actually part of the reason why I don't film that often because sadly, I feel like the majority of people that watch eating videos they don't really necessarily want to watch vegetarian food or like plant-based food vegan food you know what i mean it's like people want to see junk food you know fast food just like the most greasy uber processed kind of food and that's just not how i eat So like when I do film fast food or like a lot of junk food or sweets, it just really takes a toll on me mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I know people are probably like, oh my God, you're so dramatic mentally, emotionally. And actually, yeah, mentally, emotionally, because part of the reason why I prefer to eat vegetarian or plant-based is because of the environment and the animals. So... When I'm not like eating the way I normally eat, it just like, it just really affects me. I wanna just do right. Okay, I might go on a little bit of a tangent right now, but I really just try to live every day and be the best version of myself that I can be in all aspects. Like the best dog mom, the best horse mom, the best significant other, you know, the best coworker, the best, whatever may be the best friend like I just always try to be the best that I can be in whatever aspect that is and part of that is just like taking care of myself self-care self-care is so important mental health is so important um I just really noticed like when I'm not eating healthy the way I normally do I don't feel good mentally or emotionally or spiritually obviously and physically but that like goes without saying that's the obvious one you know
and I guess I just really struggle with like eating stuff with a ton of animal based product because I really love animals and I don't want to live my life as a hypocrite you know like people are like oh yeah I love animals I'm an animal lover but then they eat beef every day or they're eating pork or a ton of chicken you know and it's like okay well you're not really an animal lover <laughs> you're a pet lover you know oh, but, but I love dogs and I love cats okay well then you like pets you know what I mean because a, a dog or a cat is a pet in your home or whatever but it's like yeah so I don't know I'm sorry guys I can honestly go on about this forever and I know I talk about this a lot in a lot of my videos but this is just who I am it's what I'm about you know and this is my channel my video so hmm. <laughs> So yeah, that's why I don't film very much. Mm. Cause sadly, the masses, the majority of people, you know, they like fast food and junk food. And I was there at one point, but that's just not my lifestyle anymore. Once I got into my thirties, like I really started doing a lot of soul searching, trying to become the person that I wanted to be, the young woman, the adult that I wanted to be, you know? Mm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> That burger was really good. Plant based burger. <laughs> mm. You know, it's hard being an adult, trying to live right, do right, be a good person every day. You know, I'm by no means perfect, obviously, but I really just try to make an honest effort to be the best that I can be for me and for my animals and my significant other. Because if I'm not my best, then how can I give my best to others? You know what I'm saying? Which is why, like, I really just try to do things the right way because I like to sleep good at night. I, I really don't sleep that much at night. I have insomnia, but like the few hours I do sleep, like I want to sleep soundly. You know what I mean? Like, have you guys ever seen those memes where it's like, it's like a little dog tucked into bed and the little dog, like its little head is to the side and it's asleep and like the meme says how i sleep at night knowing i didn't f anybody over and like exactly that's exactly how i want to live my life you know like sleep peacefully not have any stress or anxiety that i'm doing something wrong or treating people bad or being a bad person or not living authentically you know what i mean um because it's just so important to like do right you know and i'm a firm believer you get what you give karma is real so I'm just trying to live right not have any negative karma come to me because let me tell you it will come to you everything always catches up and I'm mid 30s now so I know this for a fact what you get what you give you get mm. I'm also just like trying to grow and evolve as like a woman and I want to be proud of the person I am and proud of the person I've become. I feel like there's so many people out there who don't like themselves, who aren't happy with their lives. And then in turn, they become bitter, angry, 
resentful and it shows you know whether you want to sit there and deny it like I'm not angry I'm not bitter it always shows whether it's through your face your appearance you know the way you treat people the way you treat yourself we're just like living in like such a sad world in such a sad time where like so many people are already depressed suffering from anxiety and stress and and like I'm no different I'm like you know I'm have tons of stress especially because like I'm already an uptight person I hold myself to like a certain caliber to which I expect myself to perform and to deliver be this certain human <laughs> you know because we're just spiritual beings having an, a human experience oh my god you guys I read the most amazing book recently I finished it in two days I literally couldn't put it down it was life-changing I shared it on my Instagram um, that will be for another video because I've already talked too much throughout this video but um, yeah so it's just like I really just I really just try to do my best in all in all senses because you know life is so tough as it is I think we're all so busy and caught up with like with life you know we all wake up every single day and we already have a huge checklist as to what we want what we got to get done and what we got to do and it's a lot you know for all of us it can be overwhelming life is hard and the older you get the more responsibilities you have it just gets more and more difficult I just try to excel and be as responsible as possible anyways guys um i'm gonna end this here because honestly i think i could just go on and on and on forever which i highly doubt you guys want to hear thank you guys thank you so much for joining me today for this super yummy plant-based meal i love you guys i really miss not filming as often but i just don't know i'm gonna be honest i just don't know if it's really um worth the time and energy what a lot of you guys don't understand is like i don't just eat and then poof a video magically appears on youtube you know it's like you gotta go and get the food you gotta film the video you gotta set up to film the video you gotta edit the video you gotta upload the video you gotta create a thumbnail for the video I mean it is a lot of work like in the grand scheme of things it's not that much work but it is work at the end of the day it takes time it's time-consuming but I appreciate all of you guys I really thank the ones who come and watch my videos all the time and it means a lot to me it means a lot to me i guess i'm just kind of at this crossroads right now with like youtube and everything and these asmr eating videos and mukbang videos and i've been at a crossroads for probably the past six months which is why the past six months i just haven't been filming that often i've just been trying to figure out a way to continue to film and still enjoy it because at the end of the day if you don't enjoy what you're doing then what what's the point of doing it you know i just want to make sure that i still love what i'm doing which is why i just i think maybe not filming as often is kind of the way to go but okay i'm gonna end it sorry i just keep babbling i don't know why i like maybe because i haven't filmed so much i just like have a lot on my mind i just have a lot on my mind in general on a daily basis i'm a capricorn if you guys know anything about capricorns our minds run at 150 miles per hour 24 hours a day and the reason why I don't say it runs at 100 miles because we're like up like beyond that you know it's like it literally is probably like 150 miles per hour 24 hours a day seven days a week which is part of the reason why I have insomnia because I wake up thinking about things and then I'll be up all night thinking about things I keep saying I'm gonna end this but I'm gonna really end this now <laughs> thanks again everybody i love you guys so much please don't forget give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and i hope i can count on you for my next video and until then bye